And then on page two, it all comes together like this. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, the only things I have actually screwed together are the foot there and the foot there. Nothing else is, is uh, even tacked down. It's all just sort of laying there. Uh, but this is the general idea. So uh, you'll have your uh, tensioners up high here on the uh, front side. Those will match up. Then you got the tensioners. No, oh, that one fell out. There's a tensioner around here somewhere. Oh, I'll have to find it now. Anyway, um, uh, tensioner there will match up with that tensioner there. Along the back side, along the back side. Putting the gantry for my first build, finally, down here in quadrant three. And, uh, no, that's quadrant four. Never mind. Quadrant four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, so what you can see in my build, if I were to put this, um, whoops, this fell off. There. If I were to put this back on, oh, yeah, you guys are going to have to deal with the fact that I drop things. Okay. Uh, that's about how too long um, I calculated my build to be. I wanted to be able to do 25 inches by 37 inches, so one inch bigger than a three by two. And it looks like to do that, my table should have been bigger. But since this is still gonna give me a build area big enough, cause I'm only taking off about a half inch there. Uh, I am gonna cut those down cause I could, if I wanted to, shove that flush and just let it stick out the backside. Um, this is awfully thick too. Uh, it was kind of a, uh, a problem uh, grinding it. So I, I'm taking apart my, my Dremel grinder, taking all the burrs off, but uh, yeah. I like it. It is heavy as all oh, get up. Uh, I could definitely walk across this without flexing the, the tubing. And then uh, we got it all on the Z. Now, keep in mind, this is going to rack to beat the band. So, hey, if you want to know what auto square is about, this is what auto square is about. I can sit here and twist this. You can see that. I can sit there and twist this, and it moves. But this thing glides all over the place. So we can imagine a router there doing fun things to wood or, you know, maybe aluminum. So, but everything fits real nice. I haven't had to change tension on anything. Um, uh, but there, I just racked again. Uh, it's only because, well, I got no bolts holding any of these things straight and I have no motors and no belts. So you got little belt holes uh, down over here. They go inside the, the part uh, come out through the idler wheels down here and around the motor back in so yeah None of the belts are really exposed uh, Anywhere except for during the runs But that's what I got so far now I got to take all this off and and start measuring what I have to do is I have to make sure that the heights of these um, pipes on either side are the same height off the board this way and of course this way um, all the way around at each corner uh, because I don't want to have anything doing this trick uh, otherwise I'll never get a spoil board flat because you can imagine a nice flat bit um, being lifted up as it goes across the board uh, there is no accounting for that so you want to get all those uh, true height that's what I'll do and then I'll start measuring corner to corner and make sure my measurements are um, are on. If I wanted to, right now, just for giggles, um, and do a course measurement, I doubt I'm anywhere as close, but you know, my table was perfect last time. I wound up not doing a thing. Well, okay, trying to do this with two hands isn't gonna work. So I'll do that after I've gotten everything level. But I just wanted to put it all together because uh, I love how these, these um, triangular bearings uh, move on these these tubes. Uh, even when I first built the MPCNC 525, uh, when it was rolling across the EMT conduit, uh, it gave me all kinds of ideas on how to build a roller coaster or a, or a camera truck or something like that because it's such a, such a simple mechanism. Anyway, that's what I got next to do. So I'll probably back all this off and and start over, so don't worry if you think you missed something. I just slapped all this together.
and uh, called it uh, uh, fun.